Hello, my name is Cindy Bennett and thank you for coming to my channel. I am so excited I finally figured out how to do cam twist and how to make a cover slide and hello! Yes, hello, thank you for coming to my channel and thank you for watching this video. It, happy Memorial Day today and yes, we have a lot of things planned. I have a free class time right now so I thought I would make a quick video about the hotspot and I wanted to show you my really cool rewards. These are stars to apples and this is done with the Mac computer as well as the um, iPad over here. I have the iPad over to the side and I have some rewards here. This is really cool. I can also go to the blank slide. I can use that as a whiteboard which is really fun. I just made that with my student. The This is really cool too. You can have some props right here and off to the side here. You can also switch video source here so I can make myself bigger and I'm doing this during class now and I've only been doing this for a short time and I'm just loving it. I'm loving having these digital rewards. It doesn't replace the um, 2D rewards that you can use in your class, but you can also do things like this. I can move myself around, which is really cool. I'm really enjoying this. And I, since I hooked up my iPad to my computer, it has been much easier for me to figure out everything. I can also in between the class I wanted to really show so many things but I'm gonna keep it to this right now I can reset it or I can also leave them open. So right now I wanted to go ahead and I want you to go ahead and watch um, my videos. I'm going to make some more videos on Stars to Apples and what you can do with the Stars to Apple app. But this video is going to be about setting up a hotspot. Now my phone, I have an iPhone, I don't know what number it is, but it's an iPhone. And what I do is I go to settings and you will see here that you have some different settings. I have Wi-Fi, I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now. Um, I have a Bluetooth, which that will go like connect my watch, my AirPods, things like that. Um, and then down here at the bottom, it says personal hotspot. So you're going to click on that. Now make sure with your carrier to see if you have um, free hotspot usage, which I do. And you are, you are going to click allow others to join and it's going to turn green. Now, when you're not in use, you want to always keep it off because it will wear down your battery. But if you need, want others to join, you press the green button or you turn it green and then you will have this code, the Wi-Fi password. So anything that you want to use your hotspot with, you need to enter that Wi-Fi password and it's like a lot of numbers and letters so it's really complicated. It's not something you can remember. And so you can set that up on your iPad the same way. So you are going to go to your iPad, you're going to go to the settings and then for the, let me just show you. So this is my iPad. Oh awesome, I can show you this way. <laughs> Okay, this is great. This is kind of a new trick for me. So you're going to go to your settings and you are going to see where you have, um, let's see, I think it was on Bluetooth at one point, but now I believe it's on Wi-Fi. So you're going to go to iPhone and you're going to click on that. Now my iPhone already has it set up with the password so I can go right on to my hotspot instantly. But the first time you're going to have to enter the password. Okay, so I am now connected to my iPhone. So you can also do this with your computer. You can connect your computer to the iPhone as well. So you can already put that hotspot in there. Now I am administrator for the VIP Kid iPad users group and so I always recommend to have an iPad as a second device because that way you can 
very quickly switch from one to the other. If the Wi-Fi goes out, you can get onto that iPad within seconds if it's all set up. And I would recommend that you have everything charged, have your phone charged, your iPad charged, just have everything always charged. And that way, if something happens, you lose power or and or you lose internet, you can switch the switch to your hotspot. So mine is right now connected to my hotspot and it's that quick. So I would recommend that you would go ahead and set that up. Make sure you have that all figured out before it's an emergency. Don't wait until it's an emergency. My very first time that I hooked up to the hotspot, um, it was not, nothing was going on in my house. I was teaching classes and all of a sudden the power went out. And we have a generator, but it takes a while to set it up. I was in the middle of a class, so I lost that class. So then I just jumped in my car. I had 10 minutes. I was driving down to Dunkin' Donuts. At the stoplight, I entered in the password for my hotspot. By the time I got to Dunkin' Donuts, I parked underneath the light at Dunkin' Donuts and I hooked up to my hotspot and I taught my next class. I don't think the kid really knew what was going on. He was a younger kid and I just tried to teach the class as I would normally like nothing had ever happened. I was in my car, I had some lighting, I had my iPad and I just went with it. So I would just recommend that you would have that set up and it's very easy to do and let me know if you have any questions and post down below if you want to, you know, ask me anything about the iPad or connecting to your hotspot and let me know if you like this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.